Wouldn't life be so much more fun if we could just embrace who we are and let go of all of our hangups? But how do you embrace your body with all your imperfections, right? Well, in today's episode, we're going to dive deep into body positivity, self-love, and finding confidence at any size. So let's redefine what it means to be healthy and in shape because it's not just about looking good. Welcome to the V Shred Better Body, Better Life podcast, where we help you live your best life while working on your health and fitness goals. We're here to make your journey fun and inspiring. What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of the V Shred Better Body, Better Life podcast. I'm your host, Vince Sant, co-founder of V Shred, and I am excited to share something that's really special. Today, we're going to be digging deep into something that affects pretty much everyone. And it's about body confidence and how you can build up your body confidence when it's low. You see, in today's world, we see perfect pictures everywhere. Photos that make us think, should I look like that? Why does he look so much better than me? Why does she look so much better than me? But you won't find real beauty inside of these airbrushed pages of a beauty or fitness magazine or on social media, right? Real beauty and real confidence is about feeling good in your own skin no matter what. And I'm going to show you how you can learn to love your body just the way it is. And so if you're ready to feel great about yourself, then let's dive in. So for a long time, women especially have had different ideas about what real beauty means, right? Sometimes they think that curvy is great. Sometimes they think that that skinny chic look is in. I mean, the media picks a different body type the same way it picks its fashion trends. What's cool now might be different next week. And so if you don't look like the so-called cool way now, it's okay. You're awesome just the way you are. And it's understandable that you might see some photos displaying the so-called perfect body or you're scrolling on Instagram. And those photos make you feel a little bit bad about yourself. That's normal. But look, not all pictures show the real thing. Most of them don't show the real thing. Nobody's perfect all the time. And these photos set unrealistic expectations, plus there's Photoshop, and plus coming from someone who's been in the fitness world, to get that one picture, you take about a thousand, and then you edit it, the coloring right, so that you like how it looks. And so if you see a photo of yourself that doesn't look like this perfect photo that people spent hours on, not a big deal. So it's important that you don't feel pressure to conform to these expectations, these expectations that you set on yourself, and make sure that you don't conform by understanding that you're seeing false standards. So once you know that the, the standards don't actually exist, you'll find it easier to relax and you'll begin to feel more comfortable just being yourself. See, all of us are different, right? And, and like every star in the sky, no two people are the same. So don't wish to be like somebody else. Appreciate who you are. One of my favorite quotes is run your race, put your head down, focus on you, focus on getting better. That's all you can control. Now, I know this is easier said than done. So what I want to do is I want to walk you through 10 tips quickly that might help you learn to love and appreciate your body just as it is. So first off, you should take some time to know yourself deeply. Spend quiet time thinking about yourself and your body. Think about parts that you really like and parts that you're still learning to love. And notice how I said learning to love and not parts that you don't like because we need to learn to love the parts that we don't like. And try to pause on any negative thoughts or criticisms that you have for yourself, even for just a few minutes. Take in what you have and appreciate it. Understanding how you feel is a massive step towards loving yourself more, okay? And then next, this kind of goes hand in hand with that, I want you to speak kindly to yourself every single day. Stop talking down to yourself. Your words lead to your beliefs and your actions and your behavior. So it's crucial that you pay attention to the words that you use to describe yourself. So try saying things like, I am special, or my body does amazing things every day, rather than I hate my legs, or I hate the way that my belly looks in tight shirts, right? Changing the way that you speak about yourself can change how you feel inside. Imagine that you are your best friend. How are you going to speak to your best friend to pump her up? Talk to yourself that way, right? Because the human body is truly a marvel, right? It's a miraculous machine that keeps you alive every day and, and adapts to stress. 
Okay. So make sure that you're appreciating it for what it is. And I'm sure you're going to agree with me on this tip. I think we can all agree on this one, which is to choose your social media wisely. The internet can be great and it can be very bad. It can show, it does show so many things, but not all of them are necessarily good for our brains or our hearts. So choose to follow people who spread happiness and positive body image messages. Avoid comparing yourself to these quote unquote perfect specimen who seem like they kind of talk down to everybody or they don't actually show any kind of transparency into their life because those are the people who usually have the most unhealthy and unhappy lives. So follow people that make you feel good about yourself, right? The more that you can serve yourself joy and dopamine from the people that you follow on social media, the better social media is going to be for your brain, right? So avoid comparing yourself to people because that's going to be, comparison is the thief of joy. So stop doing that. Now, number four is find your people. So having friends who understand and support you works wonders in itself for your self-confidence. So share stories, laugh, learn together. You'll find out that you're not alone, right? Now, the next one I would say is to wear clothes that make you feel good. You could say wear your, your, your happy clothes, as my parents used to say. Uh, the clothes that you wear can make a massive difference in how you feel. The confidence that you have when you put on your favorite jeans or your favorite shirt or your favorite tank top makes a massive difference as opposed to some shirt that fits a little too snug in a certain area and it makes you a little uncomfortable and makes you a little self-conscious, right? Pick the outfits that make you smile. And it doesn't matter what's in style. If you love it, wear it. And choose clothes that fit your body now just as it is. Avoid buying clothes for some day. You need to appreciate the here and now. Now, tip number six is choose healthy, feel healthy. What I mean by that is treat your body with respect. Give it good food. Let it move. And always make sure that you're getting enough rest. And rest, I think, is one that's something that's highly underappreciated. Most people kind of take sleep for granted. They think that the harder they work, the less they sleep, it's, it's more impressive, right? But sleep, I've always said, is the third biggest factor when it comes to getting in shape. It's nutrition, it's exercise, and then it's sleep. If you're not sleeping, you're not recovering. If you're not recovering, you're never going to get in shape. And so make sure that you're getting good sleep. Make sure you're getting enough rest. Now, number seven is to celebrate your little wins. And this one's huge. Did you say something kind to yourself? Did you try a new food? Take time to celebrate these moments because every little step is a big win. Every single time you accomplish something, no matter how big or small it is, is something that you should reward yourself for. And I'm not saying that you should go buy a new car because you drank a gallon of water today, but you should definitely allow yourself to be happy that you actually did what you said you were going to do. Studies have shown that when you celebrate small wins along the way, people are more likely to follow through and reach their end goal. Okay. Number eight, think thankful thoughts. So every night I want you to practice something. I want you to think of three things that you love about your body. Maybe it's your strong legs. Maybe it's your, your big blue eyes. Maybe it's your dimples. Find the things that make you feel good because this makes you see your good parts more. It's like when you, there's, a, there's been studies that when you focus on one thing, you see it more. If you're thinking about red cars or you're looking to buy a red Jeep, you're going to see so many red Jeeps today because you're looking for it. So start looking for the things that you like in your own body. Number nine, keep a good support network around you. If your feelings get too heavy, it's okay to talk to someone who can help, that they can just give advice or literally just somebody to listen to you. Therapy has become very prominent in today's world, and I absolutely love that. I've gone to therapy for years about anything that I could be struggling with, whether it's personal stuff, whether it's business stuff, whether it's relationship stuff. It's good to have a third party who you can talk to, who you can just open up and trust me, you feel a lot better after. And it feels like the weight of the world gets removed when you're able to just speak because that allows you to think through it. And then number 10, keep moving, keep 
dancing, keep playing, whatever you like to do, find activities that you love. Cause maybe it is dancing in your room. I literally just had a, uh, a, a an interview, like a testimonial interview with one of our clients here at V shred. And she said that one of her favorite things to do now that she's gotten in shape is dance. She says she dances all the time and her neighbors just see her as this like dancing lady who's on the corner, the crazy lady on the, on the corner who just dances all the time. And she loves it. She's, she's, it's how she stays more active. She doesn't even go to the gym. She does home workouts and she dances a bunch. And so that's a way for her to stay active, to burn calories, to feel good, to release endorphins. And so whether it's that, whether it's playing some sort of game outside, whether it's trying a new sport, your body will thank you by releasing those endorphins. So try stuff, move. But those are, those are the 10 tips. Um, and I also got actually a few bonus ones for you. Here's the first bonus tip, which is do some breath work. When things get tough, remember to breathe deeply. Imagine all worries going away with every breath out. This can calm your heart and your mind. Next one is, I would say, try writing your story. And so like one of my favorite things to do each night or at least when I remember to, sometimes I'm better about it than other times, is to journal and write about my feelings. So if you don't currently have a diary or a journal and you're looking for ways to clear your mind before you go to bed, this is my best piece of advice, is to get a little notebook, leave it on your nightstand, and write down how you feel at the end of each day and what you want to do the next day. So, and, and write about all the days. You don't just journal on the good days. You don't just journal on the bad days. You journal on everything in between, right? And over time, what you'll see are patterns where, and, and you're going to learn more about yourself when you see these patterns and you'll appreciate yourself and you'll be kinder to yourself and you'll be less stressed as well. And the last bonus tip is to try new things. Like I said about the, the dancing thing, try new sports, try new hobbies, try out a new look, cut your hair a little different than you normally do. Shave your face, guys, a little different than you normally do. Wear some clothes that you don't normally wear. Trying new things can help you see yourself in new ways and it's exciting and sometimes it can boost your confidence remember everyone has their own journey your story and feelings are important each day is a chance to love and appreciate yourself just a little bit more and so make sure that you're giving thought to this and you're being mindful about this and you're putting effort towards this because what you put effort towards is what gets progress that's how you progress forward is by putting effort towards this thing. You don't achieve a goal without actually acting on the goal. So if your goal is to love yourself, practice loving yourself. Hopefully, by now, you realize that body confidence starts within. It starts in your heart, in your brain. It's about loving who you are inside and out right now. But hey, sometimes we all need a little help on this journey. And sometimes you do have goals and you wanna get healthier. And that's why our V-Shred coaches are here as well. They understand, they listen, they guide. And so if you want someone to help you on this journey, I would say consider getting in touch with one of our coaches because they can help you learn to love yourself and reach your goals by creating a customized plan for you. And you'll find more details about that in the description below. But in the meantime, be proud of who you are. Be proud of how you look. Be proud of everything that you've done, right? You always shine bright when you're kind to yourself, when you embrace your imperfections and when you're confident. And when you shine, the world notices. It's like a special little glow around you. So whenever you feel down, take a deep breath, remind yourself how amazing you are, and let's promise to be kind to ourselves. But that's all I got for you guys today. Thank you for tuning in. Hopefully this helped you. Hopefully this helped you realize that you are enough and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for tuning in to today's episode of V Shred's Better Body, Better Life podcast. Whether you're doing one of our programs, taking our supplements, or just doing things on your own, tune in every week for exclusive content with Vince, V Shred trainers, and special guests as they share valuable tips around motivation, workouts, food, and living a healthier lifestyle. See you next time.